hello friends welcome to my youtube channel and today we will try to learn big data so in big data first of all we try to understand what is data and uh, we will try to understand what are the different varieties of data so just we will start with what are the how the data was stored earlier so it was IBM Ramac it was the first I, uh, first IBM hard disk drive that was developed under the code name Ramac. The size was of 3.75 megabytes and the drive was appro approximately the size of two refrigerators. The, this size was used and it was not uh, means if you consider the latest trend uh, this size is very very huge. Now we have the uh, data we have data storage of 128 GB 256 GB in a very very um, handy and compact way but this was a great revolution at that time so it's not uh, uh, good to compare what we have current now and what we have earlier but it was a, a game changing you can say in terms of data storage later come the evolution of floppy disk I think most of all know about the floppy disk. It was a square shaped uh, data storage device. It's comes it comes in different variant in terms of inches. For example, 8 inches, 3.5 inches, 5.5 inches and the storage capacity of floppy disk ranges from 800 KB to 2.5 MB. So, just a uh, uh, poor, uh, just a trivia or you can say curiosity so how many floppy disks would it take to equal 1 gigabyte you can calculate on your own you can google it you can go through many wikipedia pages and search about floppy disk after this come data and its dit and its type so what is data data is collection of raw facts and figure and from this data we transform it we excavate it and we produce information but this data come in three different variant one is structured another is semi-structured and the third one is unstructured data so we will try to understand what is the structured data data that fits into our DBMS system data that fits into our DBMS system so I, we all know about our DBMS system it is in tabular form with rows and columns this data is perfectly aligned in rows and columns tabular format is used for representing the data and uh, some of the example of structured data are MySQL, Oracle and Postgres so we uh, normally encounter structured data in our um, structured data whenever we are working on any application like Java, Python, we have to connect to any RDBMS system and we have to face the data. So these all data sets are stored in the form of MySQL, they stored in some of the database like MySQL, Oracle or Postgre, they are in the form of rows and columns. We have different columns and millions of rows. We, we fire a query like select a star from employee table, delete, update, insert the different DML and DDL operation that we can uh, that we can do on uh, this kind of uh, databases. So this all these databases keeps structured data. After this come semi-structured data, data which lies between structured and unstructured data. Structured and unstructured data means. Uh, in structured data we have everything in aligned in po form of rows and columns but in unstructured data which we will cover next does not have any proper format so this semi-structured data lies in between and semi-structured data is embedded within some tags or schema and some of the examples are xml file json so why we call this as a semi-structured if you if you go through any xml file or json file we have a block and in block we have different attributes so sometimes this at suppose we have a uh, we have attributes like name school class section etc but 
it's not mandatory that the next block should have all these blocks if it's a null value maybe we can skip class in the, in the next block we have all these four attributes in next um, block we have only three in next we have only two so it it has a format but it does not have a proper format like structured data in structured data we have proper format we have all the columns we have the rows if the if the value is not available we have null values so semi structured lights between structured and unstructured data and the final one is unstructured data they have don't have definite structure to their data set they cannot tabulate the data cannot adjust in rows and column and do not fall in any particular schema so if you have gone through any uh, streaming uh, video platform like netflix hotstar you can see the data is not, is not in a proper format these and these videos are in the is not in we cannot store in tables in rows and columns similarly in pdf web server logs photos we cannot store in any particular format so such type of data is called unstructured data so the rise of unstructured data it started almost in the period of 2010 uh, earlier before this we are mainly we mainly have structured and semi structured data but after 2000 onwards once the many social networking sites like facebook twitter linkedin came into the picture and in a streaming platform like netflix hotstar came into the picture the rise of unstructured data grew exponentially and that is one of the reason behind big data after this how they are influencing our uh, technology we will study in our next lecture thank you thanks